Hey guys, Tech to me here. So in this video, we are going to be unboxing the LaserJet Pro 3001 DW LaserJet printer from HP, and we're gonna do it right now. Let's go. Yeah! All right, so first up, I just wanna give you a little backstory here. So I've had this printer, this HP LaserJet 1020 printer for about 10 years, and it stopped working it just would not connect up to my PC any longer. I tried every driver, I tried multiple USB cables and so forth, and I think that it's just that it's time has come. It's 10 years old, it served me well, and it's time for an upgrade. So I went ahead and I bought the LaserJet Pro, this guy here. There's nothing like throwing your old friends aside for the new, I believe that's a saying or whatever. But yeah, so it's just time, and there is a, a, another unboxing video that HP does, and they actually do a fairly good job at it, but it's super quick, and they just go through, basically, here's what you need to do to take it out of the box. I'm actually gonna review the box specs, the box, and we'll take a look at the box content and so forth. So this will be a little bit more of a slower pace video. If you want the faster one, I'll actually link up the HP one down below as well if you wanna check that out. And also, I'll just say that they, that this is not this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I paid for this with my own money, but I thought that if, like me, you wanted just a little bit of a little bit more background in terms of the printer and the different specs and what you're getting and so forth, hopefully this will help you. And yeah, so let's first we'll take a look at the box and then we'll take the thing out of the box and hopefully we we can do this in some sort of an elegant format and the reason i hesitate on that is because this is a much different rig than i'm used to because the box itself is so big it's like the size of uh oh man what could i compare this to well let's just call it <laughs> it's a big box and it's about the size of my coffee table as you can see here so we're gonna go through and i will do the best that i can to zoom in in certain places where it makes sense and so forth but let's just go through the box specs first so LaserJet Pro 3100DW, obviously high performance printing, whatever that means, right? Easy to set up, we will see. It does look pretty easy to set up from what, from what I've seen. And there is both a wire, Wi-Fi, and then there's also an ethernet mode as well. I plan to set this up on the Wi-Fi. I don't know if we'll actually go there to do the full setup process, but we'll talk about it and I'll get you going with hopefully enough information to be dangerous on that. Instalink, never run out with Instalink for laser, never run out with Instalink for laser. So not really sure what that means, but my understanding is that we are going to have to buy new, are gonna to have to buy some toner cartridges for this. I'm curious to see whether or not one comes in the box. I actually don't really remember what it said when I bought it. So we'll take a look at that as well. And then print scan and save time with shortcuts using the HP Smart App. And I noticed on, on the side of the box, it's probably a nice segue. Actually, before we go there, this big disclaimer down here, let's see if I can zoom in as promised here. And of course we have all of the little little bitty type, even on this, even on this large box, which I, I just, I don't know why they just didn't, make the type bigger to make us that have, have poor eyesight a little bit easier to see. But so it's intended to work only with new or reused cartridges that have a new or reused HP chip. So there's basically a security mechanism that HP has figured out to block sort of generic cartridges that do not have the non-HP chip. I think you can still get some pretty good deals online for, you know, somewhat generic cartridges that do have the chip. So yeah, so I, th I think we'll be fine with that. The 1020, H the my previous printer, the toner was super cheap. I think I, I was buying cartridges for $30 and they would last for months. So, um, and I don't really do all that much printing. I, I do, general household printing for certain things. And I'm also a technical writer, so occasionally I'll, I'll print off a manual or two uh, for my job, but not not a lot of heavy duty printing, if you will. So this is the side of the box. And then, so basically up the top, we just have the logo. And then down here, this is the, word, the part that I'm interested in. So basically we have, it's, we have the HP Smart App, and then there's a preview in terms of, I believe that's the scanning. So let's just see what this says here. The smart way to save time, print scan and save time with shortcuts using HP Smart Press, best in class app, blah, blah, blah. And that's, you know, that's basically it. So the app I, I think is, is helpful if you are, uh, if you're scanning. And then I think also it will, 
in real time, it will update in term, you in terms of your print queue and so forth for your print jobs. But so I, I, I so I, I, I find that part interesting as well. And then at the back, on the back here, so we have again just some logos and things up the top. It talks about that instant ink. So never run out with instant ink for laser. So that is probably a maybe a way that you can order the ink online and it sort of probably tells you when it's running low and you need to order new ink. I'm, I'm speculating there, but I believe that's what that is. And then again, so basically the, 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 the same general blurbs there. And then, so yeah, so basically best for, it says small business home offices that need black and white printing for multiple users. So it's just me here, but based on what I read, this is, this printer has, has solid reviews and, and should do just fine. I do realize that this is a significant expense for some of you. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and give you as much good background as I can on this. So print automatic two-sided printing, uh, self-healing do band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, blah, 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 which is good considering I couldn't really connect my old one up anymore. So security, HP Wolf security, embedded security, productivity. So this is sort of the key one. So print speeds up to 35 pages per minute for a letter and then a 250 sheet standard paper capacity. So that's, I, I believe my other one had 50, was a 50 capacity. So that, th th that's better. So not, not having to swap out the paper as much. And then one to seven people printing up to blah, blah, blah. Two, so good for, you know, small business network or maybe even if you have a home office net network where you have you know maybe you and your partner or something printing at the same time i feel like i feel like this would be ideal for you know small work groups or situations and then on this side we basically just have a bunch of logos in terms of what it's compatible with apple beacon and then we have the apple store airprint Microsoft, Google, and so forth. So just a few logos there. And then my understanding is to take this out of the box. We want to put this on its side here. And I'm going to just, I'm going to zoom back out so you guys can get the full experience here as I take this out of the box. And yeah, so that's going to be slightly angled, Tim. And let me put this down like that. And then so I'm going to, I've got my unboxing knife on standby here, and I'm just going to cut along the top of the box here. And let's hope the video from HP that I saw is correct and that we need to slide this out on the side. At least that, that, that's what I'm hoping. And that's who we have there. We have that. And now, the moment of truth. Let's get this guy out of the box. And so this this does seem seem right. So you have a bunch of documents on the top here. You can just grab those and take a quick look here. So we have, so I, I won't open these or go through them, but so we have right now, but we have a setup guide, a reference guide, our lovely, uh, it talks about the cartridges with the HP chip and, and a bunch of different languages. And presumably this would be our legalese, and indeed it is. So limited warranty, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is the legal use document. So four different manuals. We're going to set those aside for now. And then the way that we want to take this out is we basically just want to pull from the bag and slide it out like so. And it looks like it's upside down, but okay. That we can remedy easy enough. And then there's nothing else in that box. I'm going to set the boxes, the giant box aside for now. And yeah, so if you don't want this coming out upside down, <laughs> Just do the reverse of what I did, and you should be fine. And then, so basically open it from the other side. And then, so on the top, I believe that was placed in there, is the power is the, the power cord, obviously. And it looks like not, not a huge cord, but should be enough for my needs to go from where this is going on my printer stand to my outlet. And interestingly enough, HP actually recommends that you plug this into an outlet, directly into an outlet over a you know, like a, a brick or a or over your power power brick, basically. Um, so you know, plug that directly into an outlet if you have one available. If not, I'm sure that I'm sure that a power brick is fine as well. And then we take this little piece of cardboard off, and we're going to fling that out of the way. And then, okay, cool. So I like the look of it. So that, this is definitely going to. I like the gray on the top right off the bat. I'll just say, and that will match the core in my crib here. And then we want to take these two styrofoamy things off gently 
so as to not cause any styrofoam boogies to come out. You know what those are? That's when you get little flakes of styrofoam comes off and then you get all those kind of little, little styrofoam boogies that are all over the place. I'm probably having this on its side for any length of time is not a good idea. And so that's the bottom, obviously, that we already looked at. And I'm going to take this off. And now we just need to get this out of the bag. And it looks like the tape pulls off easy enough. And then we're going to be able to slide this out here. Doing too much damage to my coffee table. Again, this is my usual unboxing setup. So a little bit different. And then... So, oh, interesting. So, that, so that's the paper tray that's opening. And so that's what the front of it looks like. I'm just gonna slide it out. So the bite of the plastic. And we have the logo on there, the HP logo that is, seems to be a little off center with those, a deliberate design choice or whatever. Maybe that's just a stick. Oh, it is. Okay, so that's just a piece of tape. So you're gonna wanna pull that off. And then, oh, I guess they did that to protect the logo, which is interesting. And then so here, we have the top of the printer where the magic happens, so to speak. And I am going to pull these two guys off. And then, um, yeah, so on the top, so we have our power button, Wi-Fi. I believe that's for info. Uh, if you have an issue or something, I believe it will, you know, if there's an error, I, I believe that's the error button. And then I'm not sure what that guy, what, what, what that guy on the top is about. Maybe that's if you're changing the tone or something. But let's just see. Okay, so power on. I believe that we're gonna want the reference guys. So I'm gonna pull that out next here. And reference guide. Okay, so we don't have we don't have microscopic type, which I like a lot. I don't like the fact that they don't really show you the buttons up big and close, but let's just see. Okay, so number one, we have the document feeder. That's if you're man, man, you're gonna do it. Oh, so the top one, I'll bet has gotta be for scanning. Interesting. Okay, so set up wireless or ethernet, yep. Um, and yeah, so this all seems very straightforward. Uh, HP has great documentation, and I love that the manual is not tiny, and it's also not huge. So it's basically these two pages that we're gonna want, where, that we're gonna be most concerned with. And then you have a, you, uh, um, a scan code here to scan if you want additional documentation and or support. You can also just pull up the HP support website, I suppose, but yeah. And then everything, This is the rest of this is in different languages. So it's just those couple of pages, which is cool. And then, yeah, so that is essentially what the printer looks like here. Here's our first look, I'm going to take this off. And this is where our toner sits in here and it does come with a toner cartridge i'm just going to pull that out so you can see what it looks like and i'm wondering if there's something that we need to pull out or if it's good to go and it does seem like it's good to go so there does not seem to be anything that we need to concern ourselves with here and so this says laser jet introductory toner cartridge okay so maybe that's not legit. I and I'm actually not sure, so I will leave some more information down down in the description below in terms of whether or not that's legit. A legit cartridge, or we actually need to buy a separate one to start. Hopefully, it gives you some amount of printing capability to start with. And then, so here you have your your little guard for your manual manual feed. And I'm not really sure what this. So I'm not going to mess with it. But yeah, no, this is this is definitely an order of magnitude bigger than my old HP 1020. So just to kind of give you a, a comparison. So there's the 1020 there. And you know, as you can see, it actually, it's it, it's maybe, it's maybe 20, 25% bigger, which is okay again for my needs because I have a, a new printing table that I bought and this is gonna be perched right up on top of there. And then, oh yeah, the paper tray, probably the other thing you'd be interested in is here. Um, it looks like, ooh, geez, maybe I should do it this way. It looks like it will hold. Yeah, it, it's a, a standard sort of business side tray, business size tray. So it looks like it'll, it'll hold a good amount of paper in there, which is cool. And then these guys, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, so basically you, you don't want to adjust based, based, on, based on your paper size. It looks like it'll do a variety of paper sizes, including A5, B5, 
uh, maybe even eight and a half by, yeah, it'll do eight and a half by 11. It'll do A4 as well, which I believe is that larger size paper, um, legal, legal, I believe. And then, okay, so there, so that's, so that's how that guy opens up. So you can get, you can get your various size, size paper in there. So, um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped you. Um, again, I just really wanted to give you a first look in terms of what the, what the printer itself looks like. Um, and now I'm having a hard time getting the drawer to close, which is, which is odd. So I'm gonna put this up here. And what did I do? Did I already break it? <laughs> oh, wow. oh. Looks like there's an extra this juts out here somehow oh i see so if you pull the blue tabs tab this large blue tab toward you you're able to shut it all the way so that's that so that's essentially that in a nutshell and yeah like i said hopefully this helps if you're interested in seeing a more a little bit of a deeper setup video drop a comment below and i may do one for you it's basically Wi-Fi and I, it, it looks it really does look super easy in terms of getting this connected particularly if you want to set it up with Wi-Fi you can also do Ethernet in fact we should take a look at that let's take a look at those at those cool look at this, the connectors here so we have a cord for an Ethernet connector and then we also have a, a, a I believe that's that's for a tip, traditional USB printer cable I'm going to attempt to do the Wi-Fi just because I, I I did not have any luck hooking hooking my old printer up to USB, and I feel like it's time to have a regular Wi-Fi printer, particularly knowing that the printer is actually right next to the PC that I'm printing at. So yeah, so and that's and, the, and the, that's where that plugs in, nice and simple. So yeah, you know, hope this video helped you. If it did, if you want to just mind giving me a quick thumbs up, helps up the channel a lot, and uh, consider subscribing. I do all sorts of videos, not just about computer tech, home home office tech, but smart home tech and 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 so forth so hope it helped and hope to see you in the next video cheers